So okay. for that reason, I can call the police. This seems very disrespectful. What are we videotaping for? I'm not going to give answers the way you approach people. We're not going to give answers when you approach us like that. You guys are working for the city, I'm assuming. First Amendment, right? You need to make better life choices. I'm telling my girlfriend about you. So are you taking pictures of me? Because uh, it's not my best pose. We take videos. <laughs> okay. If I didn't like the glasses that you, you know, wear and they make me uncomfortable, are you going to take them off? If I don't want to be in your video. What for? It's asking why you guys are recording our clients. We've been waiting all day for you. <laughs> My yeah. badge number is 1722. Are you guys trying to get the ATM numbers so you can steal from people? That's why you're on public property. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're escalating the situation. How? Because you're sitting here videotaping. But you're so beautiful. Oh, flattery would be to everywhere. Right? Welcome to our Impact Media, where we dive headfirst into the intriguing world of First Amendment auditing and expose the realities of a society surrounded by cameras and cluelessness. Get ready for a roller coaster ride as we educate, entertain, and sometimes make you facepalm at the lack of privacy knowledge out there as we remind people that they are always being filmed. Join us as we capture the hilarious reactions of unsuspecting individuals to public filming. Some reactions will make you laugh, while others will leave you questioning the state of education in our tech filled landscape. Brace yourself for eye-opening encounters, mind-boggling encounters, and a whole lot of, did that really just happen? moments. Get ready to laugh, cringe, and most importantly, learn about your rights in a world where even your cup of coffee might be watching you. Welcome to a channel where we expose the absurdities one camera at a time. And never forget to please take a second and like this video so the YouTube algorithm bots can share this far and wide. We are in Mira Mesa today, guys. We're going to stop at a uh, couple different businesses here and go ahead and... Uh get the day started it is cloudy a little bit chilly but not you know not too bad it looks like most of the rain is leaving us for at least a little bit all right guys i'm assuming that that's mostly pointed at the atm but um those little ones right there can usually be rotated um but that's number one camera there is one on the other side of the building They're honking, but they're, they're trying to wait for the people to walk. <laughs> like, the law in California is you have to let the pedestrian completely out of the crosswalk. And that guy in the yellow van is just being a dick. Nobody does it, but you can at least wait for them to be out of the way to go. <laughs> Everybody's got road rage here, man. Go where he can see it. Right on. <laughs> yeah. You have a good day, man. Um, the Long, Long Beach. First Amendment, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a this one I always watch. It's it's so good, and I, I learned a lot. From that's what we're here for. YouTube. Yeah. Good job, guys. Yeah, you too, man. Be safe. So we're with Impact Media. So it's Impact with two I's, no A. 
Yeah, two eyes, no A on impact. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of that. You have a good day, man. Yeah. She's looking at me. We're like, hi. Am I getting the cam back? Yes, I got the cam back. What's that? You guys are working for the city, I'm assuming? Neither. Oh, okay. We've got customers coming in, freaking out because there's people videotaping outside of the bank. Not sure what to do with that. <laughs> okay. No, uh-uh. Okay. Because we're going on the remodeling. We thought you guys were taking pictures for the remodeling. Okay. No. Nope. Don't worry. Yeah. Nah, nah. He, he's probably going to go in there and report to whoever it was that, you know, he needs to report to. He'll either come out in less than a minute or a couple of minutes um, or not at all. Hey guys, I would just like to ask if you guys could give me a like on the video. We do put a lot of effort into these videos. I'm doing this every day. So if you guys could give us a like on each one of them, I would appreciate it. What's that? We need to, we, I'm just asking why you guys are recording our clients as they go in. They're not happy. Hey, there's nothing I could do about that. Is it for a purpose, a reason? Uh, not really. Uh, we're just taking video of the area. Okay, because you got it at our ATM on our front door. So for okay. that reason, I can call the police. There's it's, if, no way if we the, can hold on. The if that's what well, you want to do, then that's what you got to do. Well, I mean, I will have, I mean, you're making our clients uncomfortable. I have to. Okay, so and they are coming in saying. Okay, I <laughs> that's am, the only reason I am not here. responsible for their comfort. Okay. Okay, there's, there's, that can't. The onus is on them to feel comfortable. I, there's nothing I can do about that. But you understand this is a thing. Okay. Because people are using the ATM. But if I didn't like the glasses that you you know wear and they make me uncomfortable, are you gonna take them off? No, no. That's that's not my point. My point is is you're right at the ATM. Okay. Where no one has used are, the ATM since we've gotten here. Well, they're not because you are here. Okay. I mean. <laughs> but what, what are we supposed to get from the ATM if they stand no, in front of it? No, videotaping. You could grab their PIN number. You could, so I, this camera is going to see through their body to the PIN number, to the PIN pad? You, you know, can say the same for your guys' camera right there. Though. Well, our camera is watching this okay, area. Regardless, regardless, so, if somebody is using the ATM, you think this camera is going to see through sir, them and get their sir, PIN number? people can be, there, there are technology where people can be across mm -hmm. the street and do that. Okay. So yeah, I then, mean, that is all right. there. Well, whether or not that's a valid concern that has nothing to do with this situation and it and that onus for okay. for you that's making fine. Okay. I, I I just got to take care of my clients. That's so up I'll to you. Call. That's fine. They're just going to come here and let you know that, you know. Well, that's fine. All I right. mean, I, I just have to do my part because I am the manager here to protect my clients' privacy. Okay, so. so hold on, but you you literally just said the right thing. So it is on you guys the onus is on you to protect your customers' privacy. 
If you're concerned about the ATM being outside and visible, then put it behind a vestibule. It's not that hard. You put up a little cover behind the ATM like everyone else does. So they don't want an ATM that's visible from the street and she said it has happened that people have gotten PIN numbers from across the street. Then why would this bank not put a vestibule around the uh, around the ATM? There's a lot of places that do that. They put a little glass partition around the ATM. It's not that complicated. If that's your concern, then... Yeah, so this guy's using the ATM, and I can't see through his body. So, you know, at, at, at some point, they just talk out their butt. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't usually point the camera at the ATMs on purpose or anything, uh, but I'm going to show you right here. Can any of you guys see his PIN number, see him functioning uh, or operating any keys? Can you even see the screen? No. So... She literally said that nobody's using the ATM because we're here. But literally, he just used the ATM. <laughs> Those kids over there are jam backing us. <laughs> Oh, because she's on the phone with the police. So yeah, she's uh, cam backing me and on the phone. Seven WCY one one nine. We have a few Karens calling the boat boat today. This is why we do this, guys. This has to stop. This waste of police resources has to come to an end. It really does. This is nothing okay about calling 911 because there's a man with camera. Um, it is That is wild. This lady is still filming me.
I kind of want to play peekaboo with her behind the tree and be like, peekaboo. <laughs> Oh, now they're now they're getting ready to leave. Guys, keep in mind, I'm not only on a public sidewalk, both of us are. Uh, we're on the busiest possible street. So imagine if there was such a law created that you could not film from public to a private lot. How that would interrupt vehicle cameras, dash cams, people taking video out of their cars. I mean, it, it's just not a law that can be written into books. So you have to understand that because you can't write that kind of a law nor enforce that kind of a law not to mention the violation of the uh, Bill of Rights but we, uh, we have to desensitize people to no longer react to cameras in public um, hey Popo's here so we have to completely desensitize people to being filmed in public Hey, Dunn. Good morning. So, car number 7603 with a little 2. So, does that mean uh, squared? <laughs> hey, uh, this is the first officer in days that can park. So if he does decide to come talk to me, I'm definitely going to commend him on his parking. Oh my God, hurry, hurry. There's people filming in public. I'm definitely going to narrate this because you're not going to be able to hear it. So what she's saying, guys, oh my God, they're filming in public. You got to shut them down. Put them in jail right now. 15 years to life. 15 years to life, guy. 15 years to life. You need to do it right now. I need to see him in cuffs right this second. The gentleman, oh my God, he filmed me coming out of my car on a car that is literally filming. I can see the camera right there. I got out of my car that films everybody around it, but I don't want to be filmed. Please arrest him, please arrest him. Now they're over there laughing. Like, So what the cop is essentially doing right now is coddling their feelings. Yeah, I know it bothers you and uh, you know, I it's unfortunate that they're allowed to do it. So a lot of these cops truly believe that um, our constitutional rights are unfortunate. And when they use that language, they're just reinstilling people's fear when it could have an opportunity here, like the officer could have an opportunity here to educate and remind people that you guys need to stop reacting this way. 911 is not a system to be used because somebody took pictures of you in public. Yep. So far, two cars responding to pictures in public. 
and we're looking at car number 7579 squared. You guys need the ambulance? Your car literally films 24 7 around it, but you don't like being filmed? No, I don't like being filmed. Alright. What's wrong with filming? Uh huh. Is that a problem? You're hanging out, coddling her feelings about being filmed in public? No, she's fine with it. No, she's not. She came out here on camera and told me she's not fine with it. Are you guys trying to get the ATM number so you can steal from people? Is that oh, what that's amazing. Your intelligence level is about as low as your IQ. I don't have to tell you that. No, hey, we're in a free country. I don't have to tell you anything. I'm just wondering. I didn't ask you any questions. But I'll make sure to call you. You started this conversation. Yeah, I'll make sure to call you guys the ambulance next time. Why would I need an ambulance? The ambulance for your hurt feelings from being filmed. I think I hurt. Did I say you couldn't film? I think it's a great idea. You guys all called and participated in a phone call to the police over filming in public, which is asinine to me. They're not going to. They know I'm right. I know you're right. I agree with you. But you're over here coddling their feelings and talking to them also. I told them that what you're doing is perfectly legal. <laughs> Do you not think what you're doing is perfectly legal? It is. Then, but then you made the comment, oh, you're filming pin numbers and... No, no, I didn't say you were. I asked you if that's why you're doing it. You didn't want to answer. That's okay. You don't have to answer. So I if, if that's what you're doing. If I was doing that, I wouldn't tell you that, number one. Number two... That would be an asinine thing to do when someone is standing in front of the ATM using the ATM. This doesn't have x-ray vision to see through them to get their PIN numbers. Well, as far as I know, there's no camera that has x-ray vision and can see people's PIN numbers yet. I don't know of one either. That'd be a cool invention, but... That'd be a really cool invention. <laughs> Anything else you need? Nope. <laughs> yep. Damon badge numbers over here. She's rolling up her windows. She wants no part of this. Can I get name and badge number since you responded and the incident number? Yeah, my last name is Argetta. My yeah. badge number is 1722. And a call number? I don't have a call number. For this call? Uh, 2402-000-8840. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys have a safe day. So the police officer is gonna sit here and babysit us apparently. He got put on babysitting duty. Where is he going? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I so wanted to get him doing a wrong turn on camera. Yeah. He's going out the other driveway. All right, guys, we are Mira Mesa, Mira Mesa Boulevard and Camp Ruiz here in San Diego. One of the busier intersections here. So one thing I really like, guys, is when they use plywood to pour concrete. I love the pattern it leaves in there. It looks really cool. Nice, beautiful standing water. Within three days, we'll have some mosquitoes in it from the beautiful rain we had. Hey guys, I would just like to ask if you guys could give me a like on the video. We do put a lot of effort into these videos. I'm doing this every day. So if you guys could give us a like on each one of them, I would appreciate it. Guys, we are at Chick-fil-A here at Mira Mesa. We got the uh, giant cow on the roof and they're flying old glory right above us. 
So let's hope that the uh, employees who are all standing under the American flag uh, respect our rights. As a reminder, guys, um, they are filming us on the sidewalk too. So if you're going down the sidewalk picking your nose, you're not in private there either. Uh-oh, we're getting a talking to. How you doing, guys? How you doing? Not bad. What are you guys up to today? Just filming. Filming just like the drive through and how we're operating? Or? We're just making a video, yeah. Sweet. Okay, sounds good. Don't worry about it. No problem. Thank you. So that was different. So he actually, it looks, appears at least from here that he talked everybody down, the workers, uh, let them know we're okay to be here. Um, and then came to us and I had a polite, you know, hey, how you doing? Just filming, you know, yeah, keep doing your thing. That was kind of cool. What's that? So we do a First Amendment auditing and reminding people that we're always being filmed in public and we don't have privacy anymore unless you create it. It's what I do full time, man. <laughs> you guys have a good, stay safe and dry. Huh? Yeah, it uh, smells good even from here. So I gotta commend the Chick-fil-A and Mira Mesa guys. Um, thank you for respecting our First Amendment rights. Thank you for talking people down. Uh, whoever the, I'm assuming manager was, seemed to have informed his employees or subordinates um, what we are doing here today and to leave us alone and to educate people on it. What's that? We're just taking video. We're just taking video. We make videos. What happened? You're not on camera until you said something. The what? We can't, it's a live stream. You can't delete that. You better delete that. I just got told I better delete that. So some of y'all will he hear me say it's a live stream. It's actually not. But, you know, when people say, oh, delete it. I just thought, well, it's a live stream. You're already on it. It's already on it. It's already up. It's already in. <laughs> What's that? We just remind people that you're being filmed all the time in public and that you don't really have privacy anymore. It's just a way to remind and educate people of that. You guys have a good night. Stay safe. All right, guys, we are at the Walgreens here in Mira Mesa, and I like the setup here only because it makes my job a little easier today. So we are on the sidewalk, and the only entrance is facing the street right next to the sidewalk.
So yeah, a special needs uh, gentleman came up and was just asking what we're doing. I gave him a little bit of a bite, you know, very nice about it. And then his mother shared with me that uh, she got him a tripod for Christmas, so that was kind of cool. What's up, guys? Hello, how you doing? What's happening? I was just taking some video. Could I ask why? You can, but we don't really just divulge that while we're working. Okay. That's why you're on public property. Over there. Yeah, 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 oh, okay. absolutely. Not much I can do about it. Appreciate it, man. Okay. You have a good day. That's cool. Edumication spreading. Oh, no, absolutely. So she told on us, she had him come out because she wanted answers. And then um, and then she ended up getting some edumication. So that's good. That's actually really good. So she did, in her mind, what she thought was right. And she didn't come and accost us over it, which is great. She went and told somebody who has a little authority at the store, and you know, he came out. And let her know we're allowed to be here. There's nothing to get do. It's all right. <laughs> I don't know who he's waving at. <laughs> They're excited that a uh, YouTuber waved at him, apparently. No, I'm good. What's that? I can barely hear you, man. All the cars behind me. We're just taking video. Yeah. Um, we're just taking video. I can barely hear you. What are you filming for? We're just taking some video. No. That's not a choice in public. Sorry. No, it's not. I do this full time, so this is not a choice. And I love that she says no while they're filming me. <laughs> doing 
Finger. I'm going to come back. What happened? I can barely hear you. What happened? Yeah, yeah, I'm taking a video. Yeah. We just take video. We make videos and put them online. Yeah. Alright. Calling the popo. Guys, I'll say it time and time again. If you see somebody filming and you go up to them demanding they don't film you, I guarantee you they filmed you. If you don't make a stink, you don't want to be on camera, you don't want to be famous, you just you just want to kind of go about your day, don't say anything. They will likely not include you in the video. I take about five and a half hours, six hours of video a day. I'm not putting everybody in it. I only put the people that interact with us, that flip us off, that engage with us positive or negative, and then a little bit of narration here and there. But I take five to six hours of footage every day and reduce it to under an hour or a little over an hour. Um, but come on guys, that's what we do. All right guys, I need you to comment down below right now what you think about canes. Uh, the chicken, the sauce, and the french fries break it down for me i absolutely love all of it um i wish they would season the fries a little bit but i do like that the, the crinkle cut uh fries the chicken tastes bomb and that sauce is to die for and then don't forget the little piece of texas toast amazing I don't think we're gonna get any more police responses today because pretty sure the police are just telling them like yeah you know you're good. <laughs> I think someone's coming out to talk with us here. Hello. How's it going? We're just taking a video. Uh, We're just taking some video. Alright, it's kind of suspicious when you video camping the bank. You say suspicious? Alright. You're wearing a ski mask in the classes and you know, just doing it. So, am I the only one that looks suspicious? Yeah. So, you know, when you're having, uh, you're putting your cameras at the bank here like this, I'm wondering what's going on. We're just taking video. Is there a reason why you take a video? I don't divulge that while we're working, but okay, there is a reason. Ahead. I'm not going to disclose that. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to make sure I got your description in case anything happens. All right, that's fine. A little weird, but all right. In case anything happens. Is that an accusation? I, I'm in public taking pictures of a video or a building that's out in public. 
It doesn't matter. It's in public. Right. There's a thing called what? Are you accusing us? You think this would be a little obvious to be doing something bad, right? All right, guys. In the history of bank robberies, can anybody find one where they said that the people stood outside very conspicuously looking like this and then later went back and took the bank? Somebody find me one example. Just, just, just one example of that. So that in the future when they say that that can happen, I can at least say, okay, you know, it happened once out of a million bank robberies. So I get that there's the possibility, but nobody has yet shown me that this is how that has happened in this way, where I'm standing on an extremely busy street corner with my unmasked child. <laughs> well, son, no longer child, but regardless, um, casing a bank. I just, I don't see it happening like this. But if somebody can prove me wrong in the comments, please take this opportunity to do that. Thank you very much. I do want to say I call bullshit on his coming out here to get our descriptions. Um, all black, brown hair. I feel like you could have noticed that from the bank. Green shirt, blue jeans. And this, I'm pretty sure you could have described that from inside the bank as well. Um, not to mention the numerous pictures and videos that they have taken of us since we've been out here. So I don't feel like they needed our description. And you know, anyone who goes in there now, they're going to rile them up. Honk at me, you see? Oh, shit! Oh, my God! So, guys, jaywalking is legal in California, and I did it safely, but this car was refusing to let me go. Kind of kept rolling forward, so I kind of just started walking. He stopped. And then he honked it at me. And so, sorry, I had to play with him a little bit. So, not that I get joy out of pissing people off, but I kind of get joy out of pissing people off in that way that's like so petty and they're getting so angry that they don't know how to handle themselves. Um, that's a little bit more fun. Um, but yeah, it's, come on guys. Like, how was him stopping? Like, he's still there. Like, he just now moved. And that, like, I... That was like three minutes ago. And he was going to sit there no matter if I was walking in front of him or not. Like, there, it changed. I changed zero things about his day. And he'd lost his goddamn mind. All right, guys. Due to some inclement weather today, we had to uh, move indoors. So we're going to do the post office here in Mira Mesa again. Uh, this will be our follow-up. We did it uh, over a month ago. So we're in the... Mira Mesa Post Office. <laughs> and I don't remember where I don't remember where this one has the uh, Poster Seven at, but How you doing, man? How you doing? I was telling my girlfriend about you. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Yeah. You ride Harleys? Uh, Indians, actually. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> you, you got the wrong hoodie on, then. Yeah, I was just in Nashville. You're good, you're good. <clears throat> I ride, too, so. So as you see everybody in, uh, out of the way, he's over there in the corner. So guys, right here, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and then nine. I don't. So you get nine cameras in one little lobby here. This makes ten. And even as conspicuous as the other ones are, this is going to be the only one people really notice or pay attention to. <laughs> Last time I was here, I set up like right here, and then I set up behind the door. It was different, I know, different locations. No, you're fine, you're fine. If you need us to move out of your way, let us know. As always, guys, this is the uh, rules and regulations governing postal property. And this is one's wildly out of date still. It's 2007. So that was a, that's a first for me. Um, the one day I didn't carry any cash either. The one day I didn't carry any cash. Um, I do feel bad. He had a little warmth in here. It was pretty cold outside. Don't film me. Yeesh, weirdo. You have a good day, buddy. Okay, thanks. You guys do that content on the... <laughs> you have a good one. Be safe out there. I feel bad. The one day I didn't bring cash, man, I would help him out. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> He came in the other thing. <laughs> the last guy. <laughs> he just had this and grin. <laughs> he was just like, what the hell? I want to record it, bro. What's that? I want to record it. You're in public, man. So 
a reason for this? Um, so there is, but um, so we do, uh, it's called post office auditing and first amendment auditing to just kind of see how they respect the our right to record in public and things like that. So, and yeah, it's just, it's basic interaction with people get to teachable moments, interact with people, let them know like, hey, um, we still have the right to record in public here in the US and we'd like to remind people of it. Okay. <laughs> He seemed in a hurry, so I didn't. I was trying not to like go into the elongated response. We're just recording some video for, uh, of the post office. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're doing. And you tried walking up behind me. I'm not going to let you see the screen. I know. I mean, I saw where you were coming. I just wonder what's this positive. Just well, we're not going to give any answers. We're not going to give answers when you approach us like that. Not in, not in public. That's a better response. What are you doing? I'm just taking a video. Of what? The post office. What do you want to do? If I don't want to be in your video. Can we just take a break? Yeah. Why are you so disguised? What are you afraid of? Better make better life choices. Why are you homeless? Why'd you lose your job? Why were you late? Better make better life choices. Wow, that guy was an asshole to the homeless guy. You don't need to in public. What are we videotaping for? I'm not going to give answers the way you approach people. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Okay. You, you, you treated somebody show. else the same way, man. You're kind of not, you're not the good character here. Why oh, didn't show your face? At least you, I respect. I don't respect you. Yeah. You just went off. You, you just went off on someone who's less fortunate. And no, he needs to make better life choices. Because I bet you, if we pull this string, mm -hmm. there's a reason why the man's home. Okay, because that's just you know. Wow, talk about life of privilege, man. You haven't worked a hard day in your life. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, I do. I could tell that right away. Let's all right. Share share with me your struggles. What do you mean? I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about how you treat. I have a blessed, I have a very blessed life, and you're treating him like shit. I didn't treat him like shit. I just choose not to donate. No one said you had to donate, but you don't have to be an asshole to him. You absolutely were. All right. We got it on video, and it's going all over the place. Beautiful. Make sure you spell my name right. Like that was messed up, man. Oh, plus I don't give you my permission to. Don't need it in public. No, because I educate people about the right to privacy in public and how you have to create your own privacy. So this isn't about that. This is about it's about all of it, but you didn't want to have that conversation. You just wanted to be a prick. I just simply chose. You walked in a room and literally were an a hole to everybody. Literally everybody. That tells more about you, not everybody else around you. You go with that. Absolutely will. That is a soap spot, soapbox I'll stand high on. I literally help run a program. I literally help run a program for homeless youth, and what you just did to that individual was gross. All right, let's pull the thread. Why is he homeless? It doesn't matter. You know? Do you know there's people that age out of the? Do you know that there's people that age out of the foster system and just get pushed out onto the streets the day they turned eighteen? So. 
if he's got to beg for money, your program is not effective then. I work with homeless kids and teens. So again, homeless question, kids. He's got to beg for money. Okay, and that's I don't know his story. I didn't get a chance. I didn't get a chance to talk with him. So, so the program's actually wildly effective. It's a national program. Then why is he out here begging? I don't know. I didn't get an opportunity to ask him his story yet. All right. I guarantee you're part of the problem. Why is that? You, how not? Me. How not? Educate me. The fact that you can go around and turn a blind eye to less fortunate people to the point where you just stab them in the back at the like just. I'm not turning a blind eye. I acknowledge you not his only, existence. You okay. acknowledge his existence. And you were a complete asshole. Him. And I, I did rate him. I asked some hard questions. Question. If you don't want to answer the he, questions, that's fine. He doesn't there's have a, to, but for you to berate right, him, he has the choice not to. But you also have the choice to say, hey, no, thank you. I don't want to help you today. And that you could have left it at that, but you didn't. That is, that is certainly true. And I chose to ask some hard questions to understand him as an individual. Now, if we want to go down that line, and if somebody is homeless, because it's probably usually an addiction problem, and money doesn't always solve the issue, there's got to be some other social programs that tax dollars pay for. Which, here, and, 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 let's and, get into that. Hold on. Want to pull that let's, hold on, let's get into that. The, no, the, let's the, pull that okay. a little bit more. So when he states that he lost his job because mm -hmm. he was late, he didn't have a car, there's a root cause when you pull that thread all the way down to the bottom. It has to do with life choices. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I empathize for the gentleman that he got kicked out of. That was all empathy. That was great. No, no. I still empathize for him. But I still ask, and you have to ask the hard questions. So if you're standing here judging I didn't. People, hold on. Because of, no, no, I'm not done. Because you're judging people. I don't for disagree. For asking some hard questions. No, I don't disagree about asking them questions. It's so, your response. So my response doesn't have to be, oh, kinder and gentler. Guess what? I can guarantee you there's individuals <clears throat> that have it much harder in third world countries right now that they don't give a flying hell. But we're not talking no, about no, no, another we're, country. We're talking, we're talking about, about because if what you're talking you about people that, that have thin skin out because there. somebody asks questions mm -hmm. and challenging that, we're not talking about any of that. We're talking about you your actions. More My actions? We're I not just talking answered, about other people's actions. We're talking about questions. your actions. Okay, you I'm not only did you actions. not only did you verbally accost him, but then you come in here and start demanding answers of him. Well, you're escalating the situation How? because you're sitting here videotaping. That's not escalating anything. I'm if doing what I need to do. Then you do it. Then we can have that conversation. Literally, I've but sat here you, in silence this whole time, and you're the yeah. first person that decided to engage us this way. Well, maybe if everyone you act like we you owe you answers, answers. Well, you just like you thought yourself. he owed you answers, and now all of a sudden we owe you answers. Maybe because Nobody no owes you anything. You can't walk Guess your life what? thinking you're owed you're anything. Giving, you're absolutely right. The only thing you're given is your name and your life. You're right. Nobody owes us anything. Okay. So then leave it Nothing at that. Nothing is owed to him either. I didn't so say that. I never said. Have to fund people's other poor We're not decisions. talking okay. about that. We're talking about we are, your actions is, towards an individual. No, no, no. I'm done talking to you. I'm so this actually is, engaging with your This friend. is somebody who, you know. So, so if you want to talk about that, this is actually a complex problem. So how No, it absolutely is. So here's, the, okay. And, and and I, it absolutely is. But here's that. the thing. Let's pretend he made some mistakes. And now he's learning and paying the price for, the, for those mistakes. Mm -hmm. Is that the time to then kick him in the shin while he's down? You tell me. It's we not. Got, it is absolutely not. So let's get to the root of the problem. What were the mistakes that you think put him in that situation? I don't know. I can only guess and, you know, take... I, I mean, I can't even so guess at this point. if you're looking for empathy from me, you're not going to get it. Which is contradictory to five minutes ago when you said, oh, you were empathetic oh, I, to him. I'm empathetic okay. to the play, but I also acknowledge the <clears throat> reason why people are there. Because it's usually about choices. Because it, not always. You, what you refer not to, always. What you refer to, if you want, if you're talking about an equitable society, you might be talking about Marxism. Guess what? Life isn't fair. You deal with nope. it and you accept it and you move on. And you I, of all people, absolutely agree with you on that, completely. But the people that have been blessed and the people that didn't make mistakes that he might be traveling down, those do you decisions. Think, then why do you okay. think people make different decisions? It, because they were raised differently. Because their circumstances are wildly different. Nobody has a clone of your life. Just because you might have had it easier than he does doesn't mean that his isn't harder. You know what I mean? Why do you think people have it easier than other people? I'm not saying that, but let's pretend. You, you just inferred that. Though. It doesn't matter. No, it's not. You're so, wildly misinformed. Call the police. They'll come and educate you. So if you want to talk about what you're good, 
if you want to talk about what people have easy and easy, you live in a city. Do you not? You live in San Diego, yeah. right? Have you ever worked to have to grow food or to hunt for food or anything like that? No, everything's provided for you. You can walk down the street if you don't have a car and go to the store and buy everything you need yep. because there's hardworking Americans that grow for you or it's imported for mm -hmm. you. So again, if people are making choices, and I don't know what his life situation is, I just ask three hard questions. And there's usually a series of seven hard questions before you get to the mm -hmm. root of any problem. Yep. I didn't berate him, but I just wasn't the kinder, gentler, empathetic person that you're looking for. I'm not that person because life's not fair. You do it. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. You know, it's good that you're, that's your call. You, you do it. But there's going to be people that ask the hard question. Asking and a hard you, question is fine. I didn't. If you want the to fund every program, like, sir, let's, let's ask seven questions. What? You lost a job. Yeah. You didn't have a car because you're late. They'll let you go. Why don't you have a car? Why couldn't you afford it? Huh? All right, got that. What was your job? Working at Walmart. All right. Was public transportation available? How far away did you live from your place of employment? Bus used to take like maybe 40 minutes. All right. That's a commute. How far distance wise did you live from your place of employment? So I don't know. Got it. You might want to figure that out. Are there other jobs that you applied for? Yeah. Because I guarantee, knowing that what the employment rate is, where do you live at, or where was your place of residence? General area. I'm not asking person. Well, it was. I was a here. It was in Wichita. Wichita. Yeah. So how did you get out here? Single bus. So. There wasn't jobs in Wichita, so you came out to California where the cost of living is higher to seek a job, but you can't find a job to afford the cost of living to the location that you went to. Am I, is my understanding correct? Yeah, but the weather is better over here. So you're wanting to pay for sunshine tax that you can't afford? No, I'm trying to survive on the warmer streets. I, I get that. <laughs> Have you, are there, there's shelters, I guarantee there's shelters in Wichita that provide that, especially during cold weather. So, shelters in areas like that are not safe for young men. Just put that out there. The shelters down here are hardly safe for young men. So, why why are they not hardly safe? Is it the drug use? It's the gangs that run rampant in those areas selling the drugs. I get to, that. It's, okay. it's a thing to be so, safe, right? Let, let me ask you this. Do you have any criminal background? Uh, yeah. What... Generally speaking, are you ineligible to serve in the military? Probably not. Do you have your criminal background? Is it a felony or a misdemeanor? Both. All right, so we're getting down to life's choices. The, why was it that you chose to break the law? Um, because I needed to survive. All right, that's fine. Did you ever think, how old are you? 26. 26. Did you ever think about going to a recruiter and saying, I'm in this situation? What do you have for me? Because you're a male of military age, you're healthy. Do you have drug use in your background? No. You're clean, which probably beats 50% of the male military age population, but yet you didn't go to a military recruit, which by the way, I guarantee they were in Wichita. And by the way, if you wanted to leave for boot camp, you could have left within a week and gotten off the streets because you met all the parameters other than the criminal. So again, Asking the hard question, it goes down to choice. I once get it. once you have a felony, unless it's an expungable felony, there's no military career, no matter what a recruiter I, I does. I get that. But, I'm, but the point is, is if you want to pull that string, mm -hmm. he had a choice. Yes, and I'm sure, and, he, and I'm sure he made a, like and that. I'm sure he made a lot of mistakes. But so, th this comes down to how you're raised, the parenting situation. I mean, if you're not taught to make good decisions, how are you just going to suddenly make good decisions? Guess what? It's called life. Yeah, and he's, he's living, and he's, he's learning, it the hell out. and he's navigating it, and I'm pretty sure he's not having the best time of his life right now no, while it navigating. It doesn't look But well. he doesn't need people to step, you know, to step and I'm, spit on him while he's down. I'm not stepping and spitting you, on him. You did I'm the way, you, you did the way. here, and we're having a conversation. No, no, you did. I, however, this is though, way more, hold on. The way, hold on. The way, hold on. The way you're doing it now, no, no. The way you're doing it now is a thousand times more respectful 
I'll give you that, than it was when you walked in. I'm walking into a group of cameras and a dude that is asking for money and I ask three hard questions and you jump all over my crap for it saying I'm not being respectful. We I got it. Say but guess what? You and guess what? Yeah, it, I was comes gonna say. Us. it comes to have, sometimes you got to have thick skin. We didn't talk to you until I'm you spoke to us. To you I don't care who you're done talking to. I'm That's stating great. facts. You just don't want to so, hear them. So, talking to you, what can I call you? You just don't like hearing facts. I'm not going to give a name. All right. You just don't like hearing that you're wrong. Alright, if you say so. I do say so. And I know so. Because you don't want to talk to me because so, I keep telling you things that are, are true. So anyway, you just going, don't want to hear you're it. done. So anyway, like, like going back to say. that is you what kind of crimes were facts. committed? Like, like don't want to hear that you're wrong. No. Can I have a conversation with him? You're done. Well, when it was when it was you don't tell me when I'm done yeah. speaking. Yeah. I tell you break and enter? Done speaking. Uh, no, like, I just... Or was it crimes against a person? Do you need to get this? Go for it. Alright, I'm actually done. I'm trying to get this done. Sorry. I've just been engaged. You, you engaged us? Yes, I did. And happily so. Son, for sure. If those crimes can be expunged, it's something I would recommend talking to a military recruiter. If you truly want to better your situation and get a skill, I would recommend that. Because I guess what? You are not going to survive on the street because it's only going to spiral downhill. I don't think you could be as All right. How you doing, man? Uh, we're we're having a little engagement, public forum, a little debate. <laughs> I'm just trying to do some business. You're fine, you're fine, you're yeah, fine. Yeah, you are being recorded. They just don't want to tell you. They're going to put this on TV or whatever. Who listens well, no, to the not, we have not once denied anybody that we're, be, that we're recording. And, so and for the record, who knows I'm what you're talking about. not giving my permission for any use. It doesn't matter. He doesn't need to have your permission. I know, that's great, but I'm still putting it on video. That's fine. You're in a public place. If you don't like it, go stay in your house. Exactly. <laughs> Or create, your, or create your own privacy like I have. Appreciate the um, education of my civil rights. I certainly appreciate that. So going back to that then, talk to me. I'm asking, like, what's your, which, what other plans do you have? Just survive right now. Uh, survive is just a bare basic. What's your plan to get out of your situation? Have you talked to anybody on buttering your plan? So you haven't talked to anybody. You haven't reached out. Are there resources available to help them develop that plan? That's something I'll work on with them when you, when you guys are all done. All right. So you haven't... How long have you been in San Diego? Go for it. I'm, I'm having a conversation. It's my opinion. Oh. <laughs> How long have you been in San Diego? Uh, November? So you've been here in November, November, December, okay, almost four months. And you haven't done anything to reach out but beg for money to develop money. I guarantee, is there resources available to help this man? There are some, but without an address, the even a job search is not going to be successful. Right. He can't get his ID sent to him. I mean, there's a lot of hurdles that he has that you guys don't understand. Even no, if I you are okay, because I, I even if you are really in the, you, that okay. the churches. all right. Well, the churches don't do shit. I'll, I'll put that out there right now. They do right, so I, I bare minimum. That with, uh, with okay, they don't do anything that is necessary. They take in a whole lot of money and they have the they build their mega churches and don't you know. We see so little coming from the churches and helping downtown. It, it's ridiculous. Are you gonna put that on the video? Yeah. Uh, what's your uh, organization? My organization? The one that you're representing right now. I'm not representing anything. I help run an organization. This what, is not, that has nothing to do with it. What organization do you run? I'm not sharing that with you. Why is that? Because it's actually a private organization. We do not let adults know the address to because there's kids running from violent situations. All right. So it's, it's a, it's a house. It, what I'm saying is it's a, it is a set shelter. Same it way. is a daytime youth center. We can't have overnight because they are minors. They come, they get meals, shower, change of clothes. So and they can't use the address of that? Nope. 
by California so, law, they can't, which sucks because our hands are tied when we're trying so to help these people. We're not really helping them. We absolutely are. We're giving them res other resources. Uh, and So going back to this gentleman, he's been here for four mm -hmm. months. Ha hasn't reached out to you? Yeah, hasn't he, reached out to any resources? These people, not everybody knows about that the program exists. It's an underground program, and he's in the wrong area for him to find out. If he were, if he were, if he were downtown, he would have heard about the organization. However, he's also aged out of this particular organization. Right. Guess what? You're an adult of the majority. You gotta take, you gotta take some. I mean, I get it. You're hustling, but you gotta take some initiative, man. It's not always as easy as that, man. I disagree. If people wanted to get out, and I'm sure you heard this. So, when. When you see on YouTube people sensationalize, you know, beggars that have wads of cash leaving a Mercedes, not that's even, that's the exception, not the rule. Not, not even going there. I've, okay. seen that, I've seen that overseas. What, I, what I'm saying is, is, again, it comes down to life choices. And I get it. Survival, right? You do what you got to do. I, I respect that. But he's been here for four months. Yeah. And, and he hasn't taken any action except and I, what I'm seeing here. And you wonder yeah. why people come in and ask the, no, no. Ask the and hard questions. Asking hard questions is fine. No. I ask hard questions before I help people. So I have no problem with that. It's the response to those questions and telling people, oh, you need to get a, get a life and get a job. It's not that easy. You, you go put in an application and not have an address for them to contact you at. It, it, that alone disqualifies you from almost every single above board job that exists. Maybe. How's he going to get an ID if he can't get one mailed to him? Maybe that is a better use of your organization than what you're doing. Uh, you are wildly incorrect on that, but, you know, or, this or, is... Or you create an additional organization. I'm just saying. You know, you have a lot of good ideas, but I don't see you performing them. I'm, this is not my cause. Okay. I'm well, definitely not interested all right, in, well, in that. I'll be straight with you, right? And, that's, a, and that's fine, and that's a good, honest priority. answer. I got other priorities in life. I've uh, done my service to this country. Okay, I understand that. And I, you know, I, did you serve in the military? We're not going to go All there. Right. You said you served the country, so. I did my public service. So not military service, public service. Doesn't matter what it is. I did okay. my service to the country. Well. Just How like you, you word you that? Don't wanna, you don't want to share anything about you. I'm not going to do that. And that's fine. Especially not on, not on video. That is fine. Are you uh, videoing this information now that you can put no, my ears up? You're, you're telling me about blocking it. Good. Big old belly. <laughs> hey, he's got the same size I got, so we can't know. <laughs> I take offense. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go there. Your age, your age will come. <laughs> Maybe I like your walk. I like the walking stick, though. Yeah, it just came to me what what came out of my mouth. <laughs> well, thankfully, I think the camera missed it too, so we're good. Too <laughs> late. Right. <laughs> Over my face. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for the outbound mailbox? Um, I think that's I think that's over here on the wall if you're looking for the outbound mailbox. I could be wrong, I'm just guessing. Not there? No? No? Oh, I was just guessing. Right here. Oh, oh, he said there's one right there. You looking for the outbound? Right your, ta your, your tape's already falling off on the bottom. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, right. Oh. <laughs> Great thing about this country, man, is we don't all have to see eye to eye, man. But we do. We, we should yeah. definitely work on treating each other better. There's no. I'm in total agreement with you, but it's about the spirit of debate. No, no, and and I, 
I am one person that absolutely believes with you on that. And, you know, I, I just, I didn't like what I heard going in the door. And it was a little harsh. You Given some of these situation, I'll, man. I'll be honest with you. Sometimes people need the harsh reality of it. So yes, but it, not <laughs> not not in a way to not in a way that's like almost kicking them while they're down. Like it, it is really about. There, there's no that was not kicking them because it, it was pretty. It was rough, absolutely everywhere. But but here, here's the here's the fact of the matter is mm-hmm. there's countries in this world. That people would shoot you then alone oh, yeah. to try to help you. Absolutely, you. absolutely. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not trying to fucking polish a turd. Yeah. And I'll call a spade as it is. Mm-hmm. Or a spade a spade because I've hated it, but I've respected the people that have been brutally honest with yeah. me. Yeah, absolutely. Because it just makes you better. Some of my best friends are. By the way, I'm going to tell you, your friend there, he mm-hmm. likes to poke, and it's going to get he, him in trouble. He does poke a little bit, but he also knows how to defend himself. I don't even know the, the gentleman that was sticking up for us. I was, I, did he hear leave already? Or? Um, I like those moments. I wish you the best of luck, partner. Appreciate it, man. You have a blessed day. I didn't expect to spend a half hour. No, you're fine. Hey, be safe on the roads out there, though. Thank He was an asshole, man, like straight up, but it's not that all of his points were invalid, but it's his approach was definitely that of one of privilege, man, and it's, you know, you're not, there's no limit to the amount of mistakes you can make in life, and we can't judge people based on their mistakes. And just because you make one after another after another and it stacks up the deck against you, like, that's not a reason to then treat somebody poorly. You know what I mean? And, it, and it's... Everybody deserves a little bit of love once in a while and compassion, even in the worst situations. And he do, he wasn't getting that. Like, you know, he just... He made a judgment based on a few answers and then told the kid, to get a job. It's not that easy. Like, once you are down... It is so hard to crawl out of that hole. You know, you can't get employment without an ID, without your social. You can't get any of those without money and without um, an address. You can't get money without, like, yeah. you can't so it's, a job without being showered. It's a, yeah, it's a circular, vicious cycle that's really hard to get out of. And I hope he does. You know what I mean? I really do. And hopefully there's some way that we can help him do that. But, you know, there's we're limited on our resources and it sucks you know on a day like today when it's so cold outside and it's raining and oh we're just taking video of the post office (laughs) it's exciting what are you talking about (laughs) are you looking for the box it's on the other side of the machine I was just taking video of uh, the post office, reminding people that we're not, we don't have privacy anymore, and we're film everybody's. You're being filmed pretty much every time you leave the house, seventy times a day. So. Is it like a class project? I wish I was young enough to do a class project. <laughs> I mean, you can still go to college. Yeah, uh, a little age. I mean, yeah, don't yeah. Judge, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we have uh, social media channels and you know uh, YouTube channels where you put it on. Cool. Well, it is true. Yeah. There are faces out there. Absolutely. You have a good day. Thank you, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, I could tell she was pregnant, but I didn't want to say anything because the last time a chick straight looked pregnant and ended up she had a, uh, um, no, diabetes and it made her have a pregnancy belly and I was just like, and I got yelled at. <laughs> So now I can't I can't randomly congratulate pregnant ladies anymore. I have never and will never congratulate a pregnant woman who didn't tell me she was pregnant. Yeah, it goes bad. I've done it twice now in my life. Right. Both times I like I just felt like it's such a piece of shit. And the first time was like 
this is a random girl and she had a little tuck in the front and it was she it looked like I broke her little heart when I said it and I was like I felt so bad like she, she wanted to cry comment down below if you have ever said congrats or happy pregnancy to somebody who was not pregnant I want to know how it went. I'll hit you up later. I'm going to send you some links and then I'll get you over something. All right, thanks. All right, brother. Mm -hmm. So are you taking pictures of me? Because uh, it's not my best pose. We take videos. <laughs> You look so beautiful. Oh, yeah. I've, I've looked in a mirror. So. <laughs> you, what are you guys doing? Um, we just remind people that we're filmed all the you know, We're filmed every time you leave your house. So the average person is filmed like 70 times a day. We just remind people of that. And, okay. Yeah. What are you guys up to? Was that? We just, we, so we take public photography. And we remind people that, you know, that we don't really have privacy anymore and that we're constantly being filmed. Um, in fact, in the average day, the average person is filmed over 70 times a day without their knowledge. And this is just a way to kind of engage in that conversation with people to remind people that we pretty much don't have privacy anymore. And, and if you want privacy, you got to create your own privacy. So and, and your phone is not, <laughs> is not as, um, what is it called? It's not protected. Either. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely not. It's the, it's the price we pay for yeah. the time. Yeah, we trade comfort for liberty. Yep, we're trading comfort for liberty. Right? Yep. Comfort for liberty. You guys have a good one. For a while, I think you're going to keep one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Go over there. <laughs> you have a good day, buddy. Yeah, you too. We're just taking a video. What for? I'm not gonna answer. Well, you're, I'm on. I'm on your camera, so <laughs> this is a public. Place. Yeah. Yeah. So it, what's the deal with it? It's public, so which is why I'm recording in public. Then why don't you have your face public? You want okay. everybody else's faces on public. All right. Well, how you're responding, I'm not gonna engage anymore. No, it just seems it seems very disrespectful. Okay. You can view it that way if you want. Your attitude's disrespectful. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. You have a good day, buddy. <laughs> so the mail drop, I think, is on this side of the machine. That's the trash can. <laughs> it's on the other side on the wall. It looks like. That's one way to quickly get rid of your bills, though. We just, uh, we take video, we actually make video and uh, use, use it to educate people to remind them that we're being filmed about 70 times a day. And if you want privacy in public, you got to create your own. Interesting. Has nothing to do with this kid out here, right? No, no, no. He's oh, fine. He's okay. fine. Okay. He's, uh, he's okay. actually really sweet. <laughs> we're just filming this. Everybody who comes in here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you looking for somebody specific? No, actually, we've been waiting all day for you. Excuse me? We've been waiting all day for you. <laughs> um, no, it doesn't feel comfortable. I, I'm sorry about that. Really? Yeah. And you wear this mask, and yes. I think this is not really for for the, you know, anti-COVID or whatever. All right. Is. Yeah, well, two years ago, everyone forced us to wear this, so. No. Yeah. I don't have to do anything. That's right. Why do you film? Because I want to. <laughs> but who is ordering the filming? What's that? Who is ordering the filming? Nobody. What's your, the purpose of this? So I was trying to explain to you, but then you started being a little condescending. So we're not going to share that right now. Why condescending? You were being a little condescending at me, so I'm not going to share with you the details right now. You know, how 
however you perceive things, mm -hmm. I've asked questions, mm -hmm. and that, what's the condescending part about it? No, just, you know, you're telling me that I have to wear a certain kind of mask to not look no. like, okay, all right. If you wear, why are you wearing a mask? Because I'm creating my own. Person, no, me as. It's not visible. It is visible. As a person. Yeah. You, I've we created. Nice people through the face. Exactly. But do I, but do I not have the choice to prevent myself from being recognized? No, you you choose not to be recognized. Yes, that's what I just asked you're, you. You're filming. And Don't touch. That's to assault. That's assault. Yeah, I wouldn't ask her for a dollar after that. Yeah, she tried to grab my thing. I'm just filming, taking video of the post office. So are you taking pictures of people's faces when they come in? Just with people coming in and out, yeah. Most of it gets time-lapsed. Okay. So the only time we actually film somebody is if they engage us. Okay, so if they say they don't want to be filmed? So it wouldn't have be, it won't be noticed unless you engage with us, so... So, you're not filming me while I'm engaging, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we, we film all engaged. But you're so beautiful. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, flattery would be to everywhere. Right? <laughs> you have a good day. Be safe. <laughs> uh, I wish. I've seen some mighty prettier ones than this one. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so one thing I noticed about the post offices lately, some of them are filthy. 